Lactate dehydrogenase is a specific enzyme that is present in almost all cells in the body. What we have to know about LDH is that it's an intracellular enzyme. And only if cell dies, the enzyme enters into the extracellular environment. So there is cell, and inside the cell we have two substances, its lactate and pyruvate. And the function of LDH is to convert lactate to pyruvate and pyruvate into lactate. As we see, LDH is present inside the cell. But if cell dies, no enzyme will be released into the extracellular environment. And exactly extracellular LDH we can determine by a typical biochemical analysis. Also we have to know that the amount of LDH is different from tissue to tissue. LDH is present in highest concentrations in the heart, liver, muscles, kidneys, lungs and red blood cells. So, let's explain which factors can cause increase in LDH level. As we already know, LDH in highest concentrations is present in the liver tissue, in the muscle tissue and inside the red blood cells. The only way how LDH can enter into the blood is by cellular death. So, death of hepatocytes, myocytes and red blood cells can cause release of LDH into the blood. Usually, even without any pathology, cells die of old age in the process of tissue self-renewal. And this process of self-renewal gives normal concentration of LDH, approximately 45 to 200. The first pathological state that can cause increase in LDH is malignancy. Cancer cells produce energy by anaerobic glycolysis. And because LDH plays crucial role in anaerobic glycolysis, cancer cells have a lot of LDH. And when cancer cells die due to the immune response or during chemotherapy, intracellular content of the cancer cells will be released into the blood, including LDH. And release of additional LDH into the blood will cause increase in LDH level. Logically, the higher will be the amount of cancer cells, the higher will be the release of LDH into the blood, and thereby the higher will be LDH level. And because chemotherapy causes destruction of cancer cells, infusion of chemotherapeutic drugs can markedly increase the level of LDH in the blood. The second group of disorders that can cause increase in LDH are conditions that cause liver injury. First of all, it's hepatitis, ischemic liver injury, and drug-induced liver injury. All these conditions cause death of hepatocytes. And because with death of hepatocytes, the intracellular content are released into the blood, including LDH, this will cause increase in LDH level. The third group of disorders that cause elevation of LDH are hemolytic anemias. With hemolysis, which is destruction of red blood cells, intracellular content of red blood cells are released into the blood, including LDH. And this additional red blood cells derived LDH will cause increase in LDH level. The fourth group of disorders that cause elevation of LDH are conditions that cause muscle injury. It can be rhabdomyolysis, myositis, seizures, or muscular dystrophy. All of them cause myocytes death, and with death of myocytes, intracellular content will income into the blood, including LDH, and this additional myocytes derived LDH will cause elevation of LDH level. The major problem with LDH is that it's a non-specific enzyme, which is present in different tissues of the body. For example, to assess liver damage, we can use ALT or AST or alkaline phosphatase, which are more specific enzymes for liver tissue. But still we have to know that one of the reasons why LDH can be elevated is liver injury. By LDH we can assess muscle damage, but we have to know that creatine kinase is much more specific enzyme for muscle tissue injury. So, obviously, creatine kinase will be more accurate. Also, we have to know that LDH can be elevated in case of hemolysis or due to a tumor. 
because LDH is present inside the red blood cells in high concentrations, hemolysis can cause significant LDH elevation. And actually, elevation of LDH is one of the major features in diagnosis of hemolytic anemia. Also, there are two other important pathological conditions that we have to mention. First of all, it's a sepsis. In sepsis, pathogens and toxins can cause severe damage to the liver tissue and to the skeletal muscles. And with hepatocytes death and with death of myocytes, additional LDH enter into the blood. In addition to this, sepsis can cause hypoxemia. And hypoxemia provokes liver and muscle tissues to shift energy production from aerobic glycolysis to anaerobic glycolysis which stimulates cells to express more LDH. And because cells die, even higher amount of LDH will enter into the blood, and this will cause significant elevation of LDH level. And the second condition is lung fibrosis. In lung fibrosis, there is decrease in income of oxygen into the lungs. Eventually, this will cause hypoxemia. And hypoxemia provokes liver and muscle tissues to shift energy production from aerobic glycolysis to anaerobic glycolysis, which stimulates cells to express more LDH. And in this case, even if cells will die at normal rate, simply because cells will have higher concentrations of LDH inside them, this will cause elevation of LDH in the blood. 